Uh, I've got the battery recharged. You ready to go back into town, Teresa? Yeah, I'll just get rid of these roses and we can be on our way. Okay. God, I never thought I'd be happy to leave this place. This is one trip I'm never gonna forget. Me neither. Couldn't wait for you to get here. I'm really sorry about Gwen finding us together, Ethan. She drove through a raging snowstorm, expecting a romantic getaway with me, and instead. Gwen? It's no wonder she didn't believe that you were here because my father sent you to get me to sign some papers. I really tried to make her understand. I know that, Teresa, and I appreciate it. But I don't blame her for getting the wrong idea. I mean, I wouldn't have gone for it if I found Gwen wrapped in some guy's arms in a mountain cabin. And you don't think she'll forgive you? I don't know. And that's what I'm worried about. Uh, Teresa... What do you think you would do if you were Gwen and you walked in on the same situation? I loved you with all of my heart. If you were my dream come true, the man I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, the man I'd die for, I'd forgive you anything. And I'd never let you go. Wow. Oh, and then again... I'm not Gwen. I just hope Gwen feels the same way you do. I mean, I've put her through the ringer lately. I mean, not on purpose, but it's been tough on her. Uh, because of me? No, it's not your fault either, Teresa. It's just every time we're together, Gwen seems to catch us in some compromising looking situation. You know, if I could just talk to her, you know, tell her that there's nothing going on between you and me. Wait, maybe I can get a hold of her before we hit the road. No, Gwen's not home? <sighs> no, or she's not answering because she knows it's me. You know, I really messed things up last night. I can't make another mistake like that. Maybe I'll call Sheridan. She'll know what to do. There's no answer at Sheridan's. I wonder where she can be at this hour. Do you really think she can help you patch things up with Gwen? Well, Sheridan and Gwen are pretty tight. She might have an idea to help me convince Gwen that finding you and me together doesn't mean anything. You know, I just wish I could do that night all over again. I'd tell her that you were here right from the start. She would be so upset. Well, not as upset as she was when she found us together. I mean, she walked down on me because she thought I was lying. She, like I was covering up for something I felt guilty about. Well, maybe we better go. I've got to get home before Luis gets curious about where I am. If he ever found out that I spent the night with you alone in a cabin, even if it was totally innocent, all hell would break loose in my house. Well, why don't you call your mother from here and see what's going on? What's this about Sheridan and Luis? Oh, they're in New Mexico together, looking for my father. Well, that explains where Sheridan is. But what are they doing together? It beats me. Those two can barely be in the same room for five minutes without wanting to kill each other.
I know what you're thinking, Teresa. You couldn't. You're thinking, how did I get myself involved in Ethan Crane's screwed up love life? No. But you don't have to spare my feelings. I just want you to know that I'm sorry that I got you mixed up in all this. It's all right, Ethan. No, it's not. I mean, you're a nice girl. I'm sure it's pretty awkward finding yourself playing the role of the other woman, even if our, our affair only exists in Gwen's imagination. I don't mind. Honest, I, I've had worse things happen to me. Much worse. Just as you are. <sighs> Ethan, I didn't expect you home so soon. I can tell I walked in on something. What's going on? <laughs> well, your father and I were just having a silly little tiff. It's nothing, nothing important. I'd much rather hear about you and Gwen. Yes, do tell. I know why you're home early, because you finally proposed to Gwen, and you couldn't wait to get home and break the news to your family. Not exactly. I haven't proposed to Gwen. And thanks to father, I'm not sure I'll ever get the chance. What's he talking about, Julian? <laughs> How should I know? Father sent Teresa up to the cabin to get me to sign some business papers. Yes, yes, I heard about that. Unfortunately, Teresa got snowed in. And when Gwen showed up, she found us there together. She was very upset. Why would Gwen be jealous the of Teresa? The heat went out. We were sleeping in front of the fire. Only sleeping? Yes, only sleeping. Gwen was so upset, she wouldn't let me explain. Oh, son, there are some situations in a man's life when it's best to say nothing. But nothing is going on. And now two innocent women are suffering because you can't get it through your thick head that Teresa and I are not having an affair. I just hope I can find Gwen and get her to listen to reason. And here are your important business papers all signed. machine. Gwen, where are you? How far are you going to take this? <laughs> 